Hey there, my name is Fluffy the Destroyer, and welcome to my channel. Yes, I have news that is not regarding uh, games, but rather a Windows 10 kind of news. I know it's probably really weird, but it's still related to games. I mean, I do have a PC, and I do talk about PC games. And what happens with a PC games? Well, I have a computer, and you're supposed to have Windows, or, I don't know, Mac, or Linux, at worst. No, Mac at worst. I love Linux. It's really good. You just got to think about it when you got when you got a, a problem on, Lin on Linux. But anyways, let's go back to Windows 10 here. Testers running Windows 10 Preview must keep the OS relatively up to date or face a brick PC that won't boot. I'm not kidding here. This is the preview build, but it's going to be the same thing with the final release that people will get. Up to this point, it's supposed to be free for most people. And what's happening here is that, well, that come that kind of news comes from a support engineer by Microsoft. It's not anyone here. So the thing is, there are three builds: uh, 9841, 9860, and 9879 that will refuse to boot at the end of April. So from what I get. Uh, like it says here, approximately two weeks after the license expires, the bill will no longer boot at all. So, at a certain point in time, if you have a Windows 10 that is not updated, which is very possible, I mean, I've been working on, on computers for a very long time, I've been a, well, I still am, a, a computer tech for many years, trust me, there's a lot of people, including companies, that do not update their PCs. In companies, it's either because they don't want to open up the door. Well, you know, if you do an update, you're just telling Microsoft, hey, here's our shit. It's a vulnerability. Uh, techs don't like that. I personally don't like that. I like to control everything on a PC, especially from a, com from a company's point of view. If there's an update, I want to test it because I've got software from the company that I want to know if it's good or not which will create a problem in the future in my in my opinion or I'm also talking from uh, from like a PC gamer point of view here but there's also another side which is really important the business company point of view what if you have a software that's not up to date because you know company they don't they don't want to spend money for nothing hey it works don't touch it and then you get a new update from from Microsoft for your Windows 10 which you are forced to take and the software doesn't work what do you do you don't update it you call it you got a couple of weeks to a couple of months at worst no at best I would say you got a year maybe two but I think you just got a couple of months and then everything stops you're fucked your your company is fucked that is really bad from a business point of view because you're running on time here. What if you don't have an update? And if you do, you're going to have to speed things up here to make sure that it's running like correctly with that up-to-date Windows 10. With PC gamers, on my side, since I was a, uh, a computer tech for a long time, I also saw this from a, well, from a couple of people. Enough of people, let's I can't give you really a number, but a lot of people just they just didn't want to update their PC for whatever reasons. Hey, I'm not using Internet Explorer. I don't want to update it. I don't want like nothing to do with Internet Explorer. And eh, wrong. It's installed in your computer. It's installed in Windows. It's so deep in Windows that if someone says that they removed this, they removed Internet Explorer. They're either lying, they're ignorant fools, or they're just fucking stupid, or all of them together. I personally choose all of them together. It's really easy for me to understand. I don't use Internet Explorer. If there's an update for it, I do it. Because Internet Explorer is the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. It's also very big. And it's it's filled with holes. There's always an update every freaking week or month. Always an update on it. Not now, but there was a couple of months ago. A lot of updates. It was really crazy. Years ago there was what three updates per week I'm not kidding and yeah this has 
everything to do with PC gaming because if you game, you want your PC to run, and if it doesn't run, you're gonna bitch, of course. But you're supposed to receive a warning. In this one here, uh, with the build says 9926 and 141 and 149, they'll stop booting on October 15, but on September 17, you're gonna have a pop-up screen. So if this is the, um, like, I know this is the preview build, but when it's not gonna be the preview build, there's gonna be uh, a couple of weeks before, it's gonna give you a warning. And for penalty, which is something I really hate, this is what they're going to do. And there's going to be a, a reboot three hours penalty starting from October 1. So what's happening here is that once you get that pop-up, it's supposed to reboot every three hours for a penalty because you didn't update it. What bull fucking shit this is? What the hell? I don't want Windows 10 at this point. I'm going to stay with my Windows 8.1. It's not that I hate this piece of shit, but, yeah, I say piece of shit, but really low, because I've got Classic Shell. If Classic Shell wasn't there, the way I want it, I don't want it. I I would stick with the Windows 7, as far as I'm concerned here. And, yeah, so in other words, if you have Windows 10, be sure to have an update, and, uh, well, the solution to this, let's say you don't update it before I continue on. Um, let's say you don't update it, you just, you're just telling Microsoft this, and, or you just don't have internet at all, or you just, like, really so casual that you barely open your computer, you play games on a casual, on a casual time and nothing more, you're gonna have to go on another computer, go on a Microsoft website, download the ISO file, burn it on a CD or DVD at this point, I guess, and you're gonna have to reinstall your your whole computer. Will you keep your stuff? Probably so, but answer the right questions on that on those installation steps, or you're gonna lose everything. Keep it back up. It's always good, anyways. This, uh, for my conclusion, uh, I don't like this at all. I wow. This seems to be really harsh for a measure. I mean, I, I I kind of understand. I mean, this is their like their uh, like the purpose of their Decronian uh, measures is that when people are just filling out reviewing bugs, they just don't want to look. Hey, well, this is an old. You got an old version. That's the reason why, and that's one of the things that all well, I would say all text will tell you. Do you have the latest version? like in anything that you have a like a problem even if that person doesn't know you you go on a forum you got a problem and what's the first thing is he, he should ask you what version of the game what version of the OS what version of the software that you have it's not the latest one that's your problem upgrade it do it again and if you have a problem come back here that's the first thing everyone will tell you or they're supposed to tell you because mo 99% of the time old software or old versions that's the problem most of the time but this seems to be really draconian uh wow i don't know maybe like a message that says hey you i don't know just something else rather than stop booting which i don't like this <laughs> i was I, I i'm still skeptical of windows 10 but this oh man this seems to be just like this is way over the limit here of my level of acceptance on PCs here. <laughs> Come on. Uh, no, I think I'll stay with Windows 8 for now until... Until the internet just gets... I don't know. Uh, until Microsoft just fixes their shit up, because... Uh, this, this, this is way too... This is way too hard for me. So anyways, just put up your comments. And if you did like the video... Subscribe and rate. See you later.